to video six in our series, taking you from zero, be beginner, not zero, beginner to hero in ACDC Photo Studio Ultimate. We're gonna get into destructive editing. Uh, you know what, destructing's uh, a misnomer. It's not the right word. I'm gonna show you in the edit suite how to take this image from here to a little closer to here. There's quite a difference and destructive editing, <laughs> Again, misnomer. Uh, the edit suite would be the way I would do that. That's, that's layered editing. And in layered editing, we have some advantages that we don't have in the develop suite in kind of like non-destructive editing. There's definitely an advantage to going to working with layers. Now, I can't possibly take you through all the steps that you might be able to do in an edited layer, but I'm gonna show you this one really quickly. And there's gonna be some concepts that you're gonna be able to take and apply to your own things. So anytime I'm in an edit suite and I'm working with a destructive editor, I am going to duplicate my first layer. What does that mean? So now I have two copies of this photo stacked on top of each other. There's, uh, you, you don't know it. Hey, how can I show you that? Oh, maybe, you, you know what? You just have to trust me on that <laughs> for a second. Okay, what that means is this layer here is the one that I'm going to affect and when I turn that off, this layer here is my base layer that I can always go back to to help with. So the first thing that we're gonna notice is, you know what, it really just doesn't kinda have that punch. It's a little bit hazy that day. So let's go over to dehaze. There's something that you're probably likely to use every once in a while. And I'm gonna roll in an amount of dehaze, which adds some contrast to this image. Now on the downside to that, our model here, he ends up, you know, with his dark skin, he ends up getting darker when we add contrast to that. But no worries because we're working in layers. And I will show you some of the things that we can do with layers. So here's where you get, now you don't have to trust me as much. I can turn off this top layer. That's what our photo used to look like. That's what it looks like now. I would also change our white balance. This needs warming up. It's a little bit blue and cool. There we go. Now the sun is coming out and that looks like a warmer, more fun place to be. I feel like we're a little dense. Uh, we're a little dark on his skin. So I would take curves, take a curves layer and I'm gonna actually specifically take his skin here, which puts me a dot right there and open up a curve on that. There we go, layers-based editing. From there, when I look at this image, the next thing that bugs me is the sky. And let's zip up and look at doing a sky replacement. I wouldn't use the word, I, I don't, you know, I said I don't like destructive editing, it's a bit of a misnomer. I think sky replacement, if you do it properly, is also a misnomer. I don't like to replace skies. I think probably more appropriately, I would say that I augment skies. In reality, this sky uh, was, was, was a bit hazy, but it's blue hazy. Because my models are backlit and uh, my male model is dark skinned, I couldn't, like underexposed to get the sky because I'm gonna lose all my detail on him and he is the subject, right? So I'm exposing to get some detail in his skin, which means I'm probably opening up my exposure and losing more sky than I should. But I know that I can save sky with, uh, we'll call it sky augmentation. Now you probably like me are looking at that going, oh man, that looks terrible. But a little bit of tuning and we will get this right. I'm gonna take this opacity way, way the heck down so that we just have a hint. There we go. And this should be a pretty bright sky. There we go. And it should be a little bit warmer because we're going into those, war we're adding warm tones. There we go. I would say that is probably quite a bit better. I'm gonna hit done on that. Our AI is going to drop that sky in and I suddenly, it's not like I have to feel guilty about replacing that sky. I, you know, and then I could have made, you know, obviously different choices, possibly a better choice for that sky. 
But there we go. There's our sky dropped in. Now, one of the things that I love uh, about working with layers if, is if I decide, remember I, I kept that bottom layer, so let, let's go back. Here is our bottom layer untouched. Here's our sky layer. And there's us warming and adding some contrast. I can take our sky layer and drop that back a hint. There we go. Now, I'm looking at my layer underneath because I like keeping a layer underneath. There we go. I could go all the way or somewhere in between. Boom. Just like that. You're probably wondering what this is. It's a leaf blower. So let's get rid of the leaf blower. There's a couple of ways that I would do that. One of those would be with a smart eraser. There we go. There's our smart eraser tool. I'm going to enlarge that eraser to be bigger than that. And I will draw over the top of it. And we'll see what the AI does to erase the leaf blower. I'd say it's taken care of it. Boom, gone. OK, there we go. That is part one of how we might use the edit suite and layer-based editing. In our part two, I'm going to show you how we save these, how we export them and share them because that makes it a little bit different. Stay tuned for part one.